Well, I blew it. I totally blew it. I did my initial first day of arrival review on the Cub Cadet LT42 lawnmower that I got. And uh, you know what? I got some of the stuff wrong in it. And today, I'm gonna tell you what I got wrong, what I got right, what I like about it, and what I don't like about it. But first, let me spin you a yarn. Over the past year, lots of projects were popping up where I felt like I could use a tractor. And it's, I certainly could justify buying one anyway. And voila, here she is in all her orange glory. Part of that plan with the tractor was that I would get a belly mower for the tractor. Well, I got the belly, but as you can see, no mower. Then several of y'all commented that probably what would work best for me was actually a pull behind mower. And after further research, I decided, yeah, that was what I needed. But after lots of projects out back and numerous shreddings of the lawn by the tractor, I determined that wasn't gonna work. In fact, I did need a lawn mower. And what I needed was a zero turn. Holy crap, look at these prices. What I needed was a traditional lawnmower. So after much online research, checking out specs, reading reviews, I was led to this lawnmower, specifically this lawnmower. Cub Cadet XT1, brand new, rode twice. Rode twice. After some negotiation, we agreed on a price, and I said I'd come pick it up. And then the lady turned out to be a flake and wanted more than we agreed upon at which point I became aggravated, went to the dealer and bought this Cub Cadet LT42. And that is what brought me to my initial review. I've brought you back to the location of what I consider to be the most egregious, although unintentional of my falsehoods. And that is that I said I was going to test Cub Cadet's claim of a 16 inch turning radius. I tested that and I found that in fact, I was a fool. Some of you pointed out that in fact, what I had given you was the diameter. Now I consider myself a learned man, but uh, I am embarrassed because what it really is, is a turning radius of 12 inches at the mower deck and 26 inches at the tire. Even better than Cub Cadet claims. The skid marks are long gone, but the humiliation remains. Some viewers helpfully tried to point out that had I in fact turned to the right, I could have got a tighter turning radius because lawnmowers always turn sharper to the right. Those people shall remain anonymous. Now, some of y'all said that the reverse mowing procedure was too complicated and it was a deal breaker. Maybe I overcomplicated it. Let me just go over that real quick for you, okay? Turn the mower on. <laughs> Move the key to the center. Push the orange button. Mow in reverse. And mow in reverse. And mow in reverse. You only have to do it the one time. The whole rest of the time you're mowing the grass. The whole rest of the time you're mowing the grass, it can stay in that mode, okay? So. Is that really that complicated? What bothered some of you the most was that it's not green. Cub Cadet sucks. I'm so glad I bought my John Deere. Some Cub Cadet owners pointed out, and perhaps rightfully so, that the fuel gauge, which is essentially just the fuel tank that you can see through, it's difficult to see when you're riding. And in fact, it's even kind of difficult to see through there when you're not riding. But you know, if you look hard, you can see where your fuel level is. And I like the fact that I don't have to worry about eventually a fuel gauge going out and not working anymore. That sunlight is really brutal today. One thing I didn't even notice until the video had aired, I can't even open my eyes, is that this tire and this tire are totally different. I didn't even see that, and a viewer pointed it out to me. I shall rectify that situation today with the dealer. I'm removing said tire and going and swapping it out for a matching one. Several of you gave me advice in the comments that when hooking up the little quick disconnect from your hose to the deck to wash it out, to make sure to lower the deck all the way down and let it all clear out. And then once you think it's clean, disconnect the hose and let the blades continue to spin until they're dried off. 
and that's what I tried the last, well, the only time I've actually mowed with it, and that worked great, so thank you all for that advice. Now for this follow-up review, by now I have actually used the lawnmower and mowed the grass and put a few hours on it, and I gotta say, it cuts really nice. It, it goes faster than even I can go on the property because of it being kind of bumpy. If I had a zero turn, I'm sure I could go faster, um, you know, because of it having a wider stance and everything. Most likely had I gotten a larger zero turn. But overall, I'm really happy with the lawnmower's performance. But there's one thing that's really eating at me really bad, and it's under the hood. In my last video about this Cub Cadet, I recommended that you go buy your Cub Cadet from your local mom and pop Cub Cadet dealer. Don't buy it from a big box store. Well, after doing all my research on this particular model lawnmower and coming to the conclusion that this was the one I wanted, the only information I found about this was that it had a Kohler 18 horsepower engine. Now, upon my arrival at the dealer, it was explained to me that there was in fact two engines available on this Cub Cadet model. There was the Kohler 18 horsepower, and then there was the Cub Cadet 547cc overhead valve and telepower engine. And the Kohler engine had a two-year warranty, while the Cub Cadet engine had a three-year warranty. Now, Cub Cadet proudly claims, and I stated in the last video, that Cub Cadet lawnmowers are made right here in the good old U.S. of A. Several of you mentioned in the comments that this engine is actually a rebranded power mower engine that is built in the great state of China. Well, I looked it up and it's kind of funny because Cub Cadet is actually pretty shady about it because it says that their power mower engines are built with an Asian partner. Well, uh, I guess that's so maybe you think maybe Japan? No, no, my friends, it's built in China. Now, the dealer didn't go into any of that with me because when she threw out that three-year warranty versus the two-year warranty, well, I was befuddled, flabbergasted, and bewildered. And I took the low-hanging fruit, and I went for the three-year warranty and the, unbeknownst to me, Chinese engine. The Cub Cadet website says that the Kohler engine has the three-year warranty also. So, I would still recommend you go to a mom-and-pop Cub Cadet dealer to support a local business and a local family, but choose wisely. Some of you said that the entire lawnmower is built in China. That's not true, only that engine. And if you're wondering why I'm running, well, it's just to get those people that skip through the video to wonder why I'm running and stop. Now this is a minor complaint, but I've only used this lawnmower once and the sticker's already coming off. Man, come on. Hey Kim, can I still get that pull behind mower for the tractor? Uh, no. Golly. It's just... And the last one. All right. Let's just hope those little bad boys grow up and produce lots of fruit. Cause daddy's gonna need it when my warranty runs out. If you haven't seen my original initial review, of the Cub Cadet LT41, I suggest you go check it out because as a totally unbiased uh, opinion, it's awesome. You should go check it out. Here's a link for it somewhere up in here.